Oh, good. Oh, Oops. Okay. <laughs> we are organized today. Uh, yeah, right. I remembered my God. <laughs> so, questions? How's your head rolling? <laughs> I, I feel like I made progress. Um, I came with some questions. I think I solved them to some degree. Some is just kind of the, the nuances of, I mean, I'm clear about the front, the back, and the sides, but it was really more the transitions as, as we go around, as, it, as we go around. <laughs> um, so I found myself having to work on that. So they weren't just kind of stiff, kind of, <laughs> you know, yeah. kinds of <laughs> Absolutely. No, I, I know, certainly can understand that. Yeah. That, you're right that it's really just a matter of practice. Um, arriving at that level of awareness where you don't have to think next, 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 right. next. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, yeah, you know where you're trying to get to, but how you get there is, is crucial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you have other questions about that? I mean, I, I'm not meaning to shut that off. I don't think so. I mean, I kind of felt like my last practice yesterday was was better than it had been during the week. You know, uh -huh. it's it's Good. kind of click. And I guess my other challenge, which is, again, just a practice piece, is just pulling it all together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the same all I don't need to go into all of the what I'm trying to pull together. That's what we learned in class. Yeah. But it's remembering that and it's kind of making it work uh better, right? Yes, I think I've got the yeah, beginning to pull that together. Good. Um, Bill or Adam? Uh, I, I tend to lapse a little bit into having it stiffer than, you know, trying to keep it fluid is, uh, and it requires more <laughs> work, you know. It is. Um, I found that uh, really being aware of, of rotating at the midriff made a big difference in that particular aspect. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you brought that up last week, and that yeah. that does that does make a difference. But um, you know, so, but it doesn't all come from the midriff. That that enables that sort of oh way yeah of thinking about it. Yeah, and the, I think the other uh, point I know that where I had some difficulty is as you're as you're rotating as you're taking the the crane's neck back and not losing it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. right. It's, yeah. it's that far from having it and losing it. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. It's very, very close. And so it, it um, takes considerable being acutely aware of maintaining that neck connection in order to be able to bend back and, and hold on to that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's a, that's another, for me, that was a, a spot that I had to really work on. And I think, you know, um, keeping that, um, keeping the neck open through that whole movement is, is really important and is not it's not what we've been doing before mm. you know we we spent all this time um working on whole body movement um and now we've gotten to a very specific small movement mm -hmm. so it's it's different do you have any issues adam um, no issues. Uh, it is a little challenging. I do kind of have a, a tight spot on the side of my right neck uh, that I've been contending with. Um, and I think it's related to a shoulder imbalance down on, like on the right side of my back. Um, so it, it 
does make it a little tough to connect. Um, but, you know, I do the best I can, you know, to do it with the 70% and not push too hard. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'd like you to do a, do a flow um, including the, the neck roll, including movement seven, but not just the neck roll, but all of movement seven. <laughs> um, and that would give me a opportunity uh, to begin to see where you are with things. Okay. 10? Yeah, 10 be fine. Computer, so you could see me better. Um, Adam, I, I want you to do a whole flow of 10 reps, not just the neck roll. You got it.
So did that, doing that raise any questions for anyone first? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> no, yes, I don't know. <laughs> observations, maybe? I don't, yeah, right. Yeah, maybe observations, I don't know. It, it, uh, it feels like, you know, I'm doing it as close to right as I can. Um, I think the necro, it feels different than when we do the crane neck with the C-spine. Yeah. So um, I don't know if it's okay. trying too hard or trying to if I have too much stretch there. Um, but it, it does just kind of feel different and connect to the body differently. Yeah. <laughs> I think eventually they'll feel pretty similar. Okay. That's um, yeah. But it, that may not be the case at this point. And when you're doing the movement seven, um, you're not just doing the crane neck. So that will feel different. Um, you're, you're moving your neck into 360 degree positions in both directions. So it, it, it's going to feel different. <laughs> um, so it's, it's maintaining the openness, making sure that you don't let the neck close down nor get stiff in your movement that is important there. I think when we first start doing the crane neck with the, um, when we're thinking of the C curve, uh, we tend to, to tighten it up, get it up there, get it into right. position right. and hold it. Um, and here we're looking for fluidity, not, not stiffness. Because <laughs> um, we, we want the spine to move as we do this. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, I, as usual, of course, when you do a flow, I have a couple of observations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, first, I would say you're all making good progress. I feel like, you know, you're, we're making headway. This is, and I'm, I will say I'm really looking forward to having you here next week so I can put my hands on you. Not in a little box. <laughs> Not in a little box or even a, a big box. A big box. <laughs> um, I'm expecting to be whipped into shape. Yeah, really, we're in trouble. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about whipping you into shape, but I may be able to be clearer about some things <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and, than I am able to be on the screen here. But let me... Yeah point out a couple of things. Yep. Uh, so in, for the most part, I feel that um, everybody's doing pretty well with um, movement, uh, movement two. Um, I think one of the things is to, with two, to be really clear about the fact that you're twisting in and coming in, and this connection is at the Dantian. And then it immediately starts going out to here. So, um, for instance, um, I saw a tendency to, to cross the arms too much. Yeah. Remember, we're only going to, the, as a matter of fact, let me <laughs> just be really clear about this. The place that we're connecting is three fingers widths above the wrist crease. So it's, it's not very far. It's just a, maybe an inch and a half above the wrist. So when you do that wrist cross, 
it's it's right there it's not here that's, uh -huh. that's kind of important because it's you're not making the getting the energetic connection you want um, at that point um, in three um, I have to say everybody's <laughs> Everybody has definitely improved in three. Um, one thing I felt was interesting with Bill and, and Joanne uh, have opposite things <laughs> happening. Um, with Joanne, I felt that when you got here, you had, you had a really good movement of the body and the arms were rotating but there was no, no extension mm -hmm. this way. The, the your it looked like your elbows were frozen. Ah, okay. Uh huh. At that point. Um, uh huh. I know what you mean. Okay. The, the body was working great. <laughs> I've, I've worked on that, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not on the other. <laughs> on the other hand, Bill, I felt that when you got over here that this went way out too far i was surprised you didn't fall over um, yeah. um so the that movement a couple of things one is from here everything is rotating and twisting in and that continues all the way to this point, at which point you have the release out. And then you're in slowly, elbows coming in, hands, wrists, shoulders, scapula, everything <laughs> coming in to here. Um, Three is not easy. <laughs> um, four, I felt everybody was doing pretty well with four. Um, making sure that as you come down, that you keep bending and twisting in all the way to your Dantian and then going out and continuing out all the way as high as you're going to go um, and not letting the not letting yourself it's interesting you um i could see uh, sometimes you get to here and then as you were twisting in the hands would come into the center and four is very focused on the side channels, moving the energy through them as well as up and down through the body. So you want to, even wherever the elbows have to be, you don't want to let the hands mm -hmm. drift mm -hmm. into the center, but trace down that side channel. Five. Five is tough. Um, again, I think really being very clear with five that you are coming into the Dantian and continuing to bend to the point where you have pushed the energy up as far as it can go and then going out and down the side channels. Um, does anybody have a question about five? I, it, it, I think I'm continuing to cross my arm, to bring my arms further too far. Yeah, you're... Yeah. 
tending to as I'm coming as I'm coming up, but you get that position and then mm -hmm. it's just twisting coming up. So it's just when you you connect the wrists ideally uh, about the dantian, and then they continue to twist in, yeah, up, and then twist out and down okay. side channels. Good. Um. Would you, David, just do that, do five from the side, uh, turn at an angle a little bit? And I, I, I always feel like I'm too close. My hands are too close. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I feel like one of my challenges in both two in two, four, and five is making sure I don't go up too fast. <laughs> of just kind of keeping the the bodies up and down along. I think I think because I focused so much on the arms. Yeah. And the twisting and everything that sometimes I find myself standing straight up when I'm not quite ready to be <laughs> or I shouldn't be. Yeah, Adam has a little trouble with that too. Um, uh, <laughs> a little tendency to sort of lunge. <laughs> uh -huh. um, it's pretty easy to to uh, uh, keep the twisting in going down. Yes, it is <laughs> it's hard to not want to go up too fast. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, you, you don't want to get to here and then. <laughs> right. Mm. Exaggeration. Right. But, yeah. Right. Well. Um, in uh, one thing I noticed that I, I could see some arm twisting occurring with uh, movement seven. Um, one thing I wanted to say was I did see, Joanne, I noticed at one point that your arms were rotating like this with the movement. Uh-huh. And actually, they rotate like this with the Oh, movement. okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought that was interesting. I, nobody said, I've never seen anybody do that. Nobody else there. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> Well, and a few times I was definitely off in my rotation. I was paying so much attention to my head. But, um, but could you do that? Could you do that with the head roll, David, so I can get a better sense of it? Sure. Of the correct way. So, um, So one of the things here really is to make sure that you don't collapse into the, the midriff. You're pivoting at the midriff, not the qua. And I don't, I think you were all doing the midriff, but don't let it collapse. It's, it's uh -huh. this movement. It's, it's really just a rotation at the midriff, but with the the addition of what's happening at the neck, so that the entire spine is eventually spiraling. And the hands and arms and legs and torso are all twisting in that same same direction. Mm -hmm. 
question there? So, yeah, um, so the, the torso is really just twisting, like turning. It, it's not um, kind of doing it like a C curve in the upper part of the thoracic spine when you're at the lowest point? No. Okay. They're, they're, you're maintaining the, the, certainly the pelvic tuck. Okay. We haven't really talked about that, but that's, that, that remains, but you're not adding a C spine to this. No. I, I see. No, the, the, <laughs> Let's see. So, um, I don't know if you can. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good there. Okay. So you, you're creating your your uh, crane neck, and ideally without it being tense, and then the rotation is going all the way. I mean, the neck is rotating and you're rotating at the midrib. And you're, but you're not doing that movement. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you see the difference there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're holding on to the C curve, I mean, to the crane neck, mm -hmm. um, but allowing it to actually rotate. So, and, and you can really begin after, wow, you may not yet, but eventually you can really feel the, the, the spine turning a little bit. It's very, mm -hmm. very small. Mm. obviously <laughs> but that's part of what you're trying to do is develop um, complete flexibility and openness in the spine so the energy can move freely through there mm -hmm. any questions in there I'm not meaning to no, I think that side view really uh, helped clarify okay good yeah. You know, one thing I do notice is my back does feel better. Um, I'd been having a lot of particularly lower back, you know, just tightness, and it was really interfering with practice. Uh huh. And um, been able to just I kind of loosen that up, and I just yeah, my back just feels you know looser. Sure. Generally speaking. The, um. Once you once you get God's so that it's really working, uh, supposedly you don't need any other qigong. Um, th this was the only qigong that um, Master Liu, uh, Bruce's teacher, did um, every day. Um, and it, it is supposed to really be beneficial to the back. And I have felt that too, Joanne. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. I, I have a constant um, issue with my um, arthritis in my lower spine. So, um, yeah, it, it, it all helps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, know. I feel that. Yeah. So... Um, where are we here? <laughs> We're at an awkward you point. You haven't read us anything yet, David. What? You haven't read us anything today. <laughs> I know, and I, I, <laughs> I, I, of course, have something to read, but uh, we don't really have time to work it, so. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't have any other things to offer uh, just at this moment on this. Seems to me that um, 
I, um, we don't have enough time to go into this. This next piece is really beginning to to do a focused work on twisting as opposed to turning. Um, and in a way, that's, I kind of would like to do it when you're here because, okay. well, a, it's easier for me to see whether what you're getting and what you're not. But also, um, the thing that I found was that to be able to put your hand, in this case, on me, and feel the difference between turning and twisting um, helps to at least have some better awareness about that. That was, I, I still remember that was how I realized the difference between them, the two. Hmm. Being able to, to hold on to my teacher's arm at that point. Um, um, actually, it was, it was uh, Adam, it was Bill that uh, where I really felt that. Mm. Uh, nice. Uh, oh. So, uh, so we'll work on that next week, I think, rather than try to um, cram it in now and not do it very effectively. Okay. Well, one thing, if we have a little extra time, I and I've asked this question several sessions ago, but I mm -hmm. still I'm not differentiating four and six very much in terms of my arm movement going, especially going up. So the the. Uh. The rotation or twisting is opposite in those two. Yeah. No, <laughs> okay. It's opposite for you, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, allow me to demonstrate that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, one of the things is to remember that. Whether you're talking, and I'm going to stay close because I think you can yeah. see it a little better. Yeah. Um, that when we talk about turning or twisting in the arms, you have to be clear about whether you are focusing on the little finger edge ah. or the thumb edge. Because you can start with your arms like this and twist the little finger edge in and the little finger edge out because we're always talking about that in relation to the center of the line of the body, the spine. But you can also think of the thumb edge turning in and turning out. And those are clearly opposite movements but they each function in the same way in terms of moving the energy. So you have to be clear about your intent because this draws energy in just as this draws energy in. Um, do you understand that, the conceptual piece here? Yes. Okay. So when we um, go into to, um, four, that actually we're twisting in and we're following the little finger edge in. And then the little finger edge is going out and out and out. And notice that the, we end up at the top. When you get the energy of the crown of the head, the palms are forward. And then you're twisting the little finger edge in and the little finger edge out. And it keeps on going out through the whole movement, okay? When we go to six, what's happening is 
then we're now going to follow the thumb edge. So uh, when we come down here, the thumb edge is, is twisting out and it keeps on twisting out to the top, which means that the back of the hands are out. And then the twisting in is the thumb edge coming in, 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 and then out, 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 and then in. Question, Bill? That's very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, that is very helpful. I find six yeah. challenging to me for a number of reasons, but that's helpful. Yeah, it's um, if you can be clear about the the edge that you're following, it really helps to define the the movement. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, David. Well. My pleasure. <laughs> and we'll look forward to seeing you here next week, Bill. Indeed. I'm looking yeah. forward to that also. I can't I can't promise that you will get every question answered, but we ought to be able to straighten out some things. Well, to block out the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, we Hopefully. can do that, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be the last time. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you. Great, thank you. Good luck with your thank fence. You. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. Good. Either of you have other God's questions? Deeper God's questions. <laughs> um, I don't think I don't think so. Not this week. Um, I do feel like it is making progress. Um, you yeah. know, it, it seems like um, getting deeper and deeper awareness into the body. Yep. Um, but there's just so much stuff between your brain and really getting in there. Yep. You know, I always amazes me when it seems like all of a sudden you do it one time and you're like, Oh, it's like a whole part of your nervous system decided to turn on this time. Yeah. <laughs> How have I gone all my life without that happening? Uh, <laughs> interesting. Yes. That's, that's very good. <laughs> you know, and then, you know, and then the next day it's like, oh, I guess that doesn't, that's not a part of me anymore. That doesn't <laughs> uh, So, you know, slow, slow, steady progress. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, and that's what it is. It, yeah. and what's really you're right. And there is so much in this particular practice in in God's that um, you're right. It it comes and goes at first, and then gradually one piece begins to stick for a while, and uh, after a while another one will, and. Mm. Down the road, right. you'll be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I find some of the challenge is, am I paying attention to that or is it absorbed in? I think like the 70%, I'm like, oh, hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I know that's, we've been talking about that forever, but um, every so often when I hear it, I'm like, oh, do I need to recheck myself on that? Or, you know. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we all have to do that. It, it's a every once in a while, you know, it's that's why I think it's important to remember about practice being not just being a flow. Because we, we need to pay attention sometimes. Yeah. In other words, think about it, which um, is not the way we really want to perform it eventually. No, no. But we need to do it from time to time to be aware of what we are doing. And um, 
there's just so much in this, not on the, the physical and emotional and um, neurological levels. It's just um, a continual a continual process. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, you're, you're you're all doing well um, and and making progress. So I'm I'm. <laughs> I'm I'm loving that, <laughs> but um, I understand too. It's uh, it can be frustrating. But I think you know we we've been doing this long enough to know that the frust there's a reward at the other end of the frustration. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and I think that make that makes a difference for me certainly. You know. Yeah. Kind of think, oh yeah, that's right how helpful this is as a practice and so in so many ways um you know I yeah, no i was gonna say sometimes the frustration i just have to stop what i'm doing for a while kind of knowing that the next time i practice it i might it might click <laughs> yep. but yep. if you get you, like with anything if you get too too frustrated you know it, it's yeah it's kind of like sometimes you just kind of go okay i can do this and sometimes it's like, I'll walk away, I'll come back and try to do it. So, yep. Yeah, absolutely good. Mm. So, how's your third paragraph? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm going to be tested next week, man. Uh, you know. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I had a little challenge this week, kind of particularly towards the end, going from step up with seven stars to kind of like, oh, right, all of that. I think just because physically I've been kind of not doing those for a while. Yeah. Uh, step back, ride the tiger, you know, and then going into, you know, stroke the beard, right? Um, but so it might not hurt to watch you do that. Um, to make sure that I've not, but I, I know that there are particularly in the second paragraph, certain things that I've been really hesitant to do just because of bad knees and hips um, that I'm really trying to get back into and making sure that I'm doing them right. Sure. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, um, the thing that... Uh, <laughs> got me for a while was was indeed step back to ride the tiger which in the young style is a very clear um posture and mm. and in the Wu style it is um a throw it's just uh -huh. a, a uh -huh. you can feel about it but you have to make sure that you make it work um mm. physically and energetically and right. it's <laughs> it's very easy not to do that uh-huh mm. <laughs> um so sure let me go through that in section Um, I was saying the other day at, at, in another class how difficult this form is to jump into, and I've been doing it for a long time. So, like, where in the middle do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I keep going back to single whip. That's <laughs> the best way I find to do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, seriously, that because it comes up so often, it's. Oh, yeah. There, there you are. <laughs> so.
So question in there? No, there are several clarifications. That was helpful. <laughs> you want to try it? We don't have a lot of room here right now. Um, I will. I will try it this week and and do it do it better next week. Does that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've also got to get the right shoes on for that. Yeah. <laughs> I see, yeah. Um. Yeah. No, that was very helpful. Good. Okay. Well, and, uh, unless you have other questions, we'll look forward to really being able to see you in person next week. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, David. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks, David. Thank you. Everybody have a good week. Yep. You, you are too. best. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. <laughs> Can't do any better. <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> all right. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye bye.